Hi, this is Praveen here. I have a total of five years of experience and currently working as a DevOps and SRE engineer. And as of now, I am also working as a Linux system admin also. And currently working on the deployment part and taking care of entire roles and responsibilities of the team by managing two members team also. Right. Apart from this, I have also developed some automations in Python and Node.js. I have received few awards and certifications also. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So about Linux, you want to know more? Okay, I have worked on Linux file systems, network management, and uh, Linux uh, basic things, uh, right? And uh, mostly worked on patching also. Uh, okay, uh, file system management, I have not done any disk uh, utilization management and uh, memory management, but I have worked mostly on the UI part where some issues are there to troubleshoot and all those things I know. Okay, you are asking me fine command. Uh, okay, I have not done uh, the hands on on fine command, but I remember a little bit of things like find dot some command is there. I'm not able to answer, but I will definitely find out the answers for this. Okay, uh, so you are asking me how do you manage network in Linux? Uh, okay, I have not done networking also. I, I remember some of the commands like uh, NMCLI is there with which we can do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, interview is completed in five minutes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So yes, uh, you have seen right, uh, the interview has completed in five minutes because I'm not able to answer the Linux questions or some things which he was expecting from me. Mostly if you have seen every DevOps interview starts with the basics of Linux, fundamentals of Linux and how you have worked on a particular system to do the root cause analysis. So in this video, I'll be telling you completely about the roadmap along with the interview questions and answers. So watch the video completely and comment down Linux and I'll be sharing the complete set of interview questions as a document to you directly, right? So going ahead, let's understand why Linux is important. Uh, first of all, whenever you talk about DevOps, all the systems, almost 80 to 90% of the systems in this real time are based on the Linux systems, right? If you consider Linux, uh, Jenkins deployment, Maven deployment, uh, Kubernetes deployments, Prometheus Grafana setups, almost all the things uh, mostly on the Linux only. That's why 90% uh, of the interview starts with your Linux interview questions. Now, let's understand. First of all, I will talk about the roadmap, right? Very important. I'll be dividing this roadmap into three categories. One is the beginner category, then the intermediate, then the advanced category. And trust me, if you follow this complete set of document, 100% you are going to win the game in any DevOps and SRE interview where Linux is being asked, right? So beginner, if you see, very fundamental things I'll be telling you, right? These all things uh, with my preparation, with my strategies I have made. So file management comes first where you have basic commands like ls, copy, rm, move, cat, mkdir, rmdir, nano, vi, right? Then you have file system and permission where you understand file system hierarchy, file permissions, chmod, ch1, ch group, hard, then soft links, then comes system information, what type of uh, systems you are using, U name, df, du, disk utilization, right? Uh, free, uh, how much memory is there, user management, user add, group add, password, right? And process management, ps, top kill. So if you see, everything is like a block, right? File management, user management, disk management, uh, permissions, right? System information, process management, package management. These are very beginner level of things and every DevOps and SRE engineer should know all these concepts, whatever I have discussed. Now coming on to the intermediate concept, you need to understand little bit about the network configurations, if config, IP, netstat, SS, network manager, GUI, NMCLI, resolve, CTL, ping, dig, NS, look, and ETH tool. When it comes to the service management, you need to understand system CTL, journal CTL, and DM, uh, seg, and syslog. When it comes to hardware management, you need to understand how the systems hardwares are managed, how the patching is done, how the things are maintained in the hardware, all those things you need to know. Text and log processing, as I have told you, like find, head, tail, XR, grep, AWK, SCDA, T, log, rotate, backup automation, cron, systemd, timer, rsync, SCP, and when it comes to the security, you need to understand how the SSH connectivity between the two Linux systems is made, how the SSH keys are transferred, how the SSH keys are generated, how the SSHD configurations are made, how what is the firewall management, everything you need to know, right? When it comes to the advanced, very important, you need to know the kernel things, right? So uh, these advanced things are needed by the 
by mostly the admins but you also should know in 2025 uh, kernel configuration you need to understand system ctl customization prop sys params system performances perf tuned hd param s trace bp trace c groups namespaces automation scripting obviously you need to know bash python right and other things uh, obviously you need to know uh, right hardware when it comes to the file systems internals you need to know external file system xfs file systems types of file systems to manage your linux and networking concepts when it comes to the virtualization kvm kmu l libvirt docker docker file and being a devops and sre engineer i'm pretty much sure you already know the docker and docker file things advanced security sc linux app armor ip tables nf tables uh, dm crypt pam and linux capabilities very very much important these all things play a vital role when we discuss about the DevOps and SRE, uh, particularly the beginner to advanced roadmap in of learning Linux. And any any company, if you see, uh, all the different kinds of things will be placed uh, uh, under uh, the bracket of learning, right? So pretty much, uh, I'm I'm pretty much confident if you learn these things, hundred percent your interview will get cleared. Now let's go ahead. Let's understand. Um, uh, some interview questions which are very very much important and as I have told you every DevOps and SRE uh, interview will have this one things right and uh, I have also uh, I will also share this kind of uh, some setups to you uh, where you will be able to understand how the file systems folder systems uh, inside the Linux systems are managed how what is a bin what is a user folder what is var folder what is lib folder what is mount folder you will be able to understand everything in depth in Linux so stay tuned in the video and if you little bit go ahead uh, you will be able to understand the interview questions of Linux so I'll start with very, very basics question, right? So as I have told you, this entire video is divided into three categories, basics, intermediate and advanced. So when it comes to the Linux basics, what is Linux? How it is different from Linux? What is the difference between Linux and Windows Linux? Uh, file system hierarchy, what is a shell? What are the common types of shells? You have to tell cron shell, bash shell, right? Uh, what are the run levels in Linux? Very important. How do you check the current working directory? What does chmod 755 means as you are aware? 7 is basically 4 plus 2 plus 1, read plus write plus execute. So 755, five, you can understand, right? Uh, full permission to the user, group and others. Others and group have 5-5 five, five permission. How do you view hidden files? Um, uh, what is the difference between... Uh, uh, basically, we will use it. Uh, these symbols with the cat commands. Uh, how do you search for a file in a string? How do you check the memory usage? Uh, what command shows the disk usage per directory? How do you find a file by name? What is a cron? How do you schedule a job? What is the use of top ps and kill commands? Now, when it comes to the intermediate Linux commands, how do you check the process? Which process is using the most CPU and memory? Very, very much important because uh, I will just highlight this uh, particular thing for you guys, right? Now, if you know the answer for this, right? How do you check the process, right? Which process is using the most CPU and memory? So I think uh, most of the interview questions uh, are based on this uh, real time interview uh, process only. And I've shared everything. This one document will be helping you. So make sure you comment Linux and like the video and share it with your friends. What's the difference between nice and REE nice? Uh, what's the difference between kill, p, kill and kill, kill all? How do you analyze and troubleshoot a system that is running slow memory? How do you check logs for a field service? What is the use of netstat, ss and ls So you understand, right? The above things are, are like taken forward for all these things and very, very much important. How do you check the port is open and listening? Difference between SCP and rsync. How do you configure a static IP address? How do you flush DNS cache? How how do you hard uh, how do hard links differ from soft links? How do you mount and unmount uh, um, the disk partitions and users? How do file permissions work in Linux? What is sticky bit? When it comes to the ad advanced Linux systems, right? Again, these interview questions are there. I'll be sharing in a little bit of time. So stay tuned and watch the video completely. So when it comes to the advanced interview questions, what happens during the Linux boot process? Very much important. BIOS should be there. What is init RD, init RAM FS? What are C groups and name spaces? How do they work? How does Linux handle the process scheduling? Explain the role of systemd and how do you manage the service with it? Uh, what is SCLinux, app armor? How do you troubleshoot permissions issues related to them? And trust me, this one document will be sufficient for you to crack any DevOps and SRE interview with Linux things, right? So I'm only feeling like confident uh, while I'm learning these things and you can find the answers anywhere, right? 
uh, it's like a resource for you which i'm sharing so keep it with you and like the video and share the share the channel link and comment down linux to get grab this document right how do you securely copy files and linux systems how do you set up ssh uh, key based authentication how do you audit system activity or monitor unauthorized access uh, what is sudo how do you different what how it is different from su how do you identify and resolve a memory leak what tools would you use for profiling a system under heavy load what is io stat vm stat io top uh, what are kernel modules uh, uh, how do you manage them how do you tune kernel parameters with ctl so these all things will be definitely asked in the interviews and i'm pretty much sure like with my experience all the interview questions are very well versed and i have prepared this document for you guys right so i hope you have liked this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends and make sure you hit the comment linux and automatically this document will be received to you on the top of that comment so that's all for today's video stay tuned for the other updates and check out the channel for any help and learnings if you need this is praveen signing off from this video meet you in the next video until then take care bye